Today I'm going to show you how I get assets that I've made in a paint program into WonderDraft. This is just one method. This is one that I use for simple, simple sprite graphics. I use paint.net. It's a free paint program. You can use GIMP or Photoshop or any other. This is one that I made. I drew these by hand and then loaded them into paint.net and colored them and took away the background making a transparent background and then resized them to a 200 by 200 you can use uh, other resolutions if you like but I've found 200 by 200 to be a good size the way you get once you've drawn your uh, your item your sprite for your wonder draft you can save it to a location and I'll show you how I put them into my wonder draft now we've got three that I've made here this is an image from the internet that I cut the background out of this is also an image a picture image an actual photograph that I uh, downloaded cut the background out of roughly this is not one that I would try to use but this is an example of a photograph we're gonna put those in our wonder draft now the way you do that is you have to go into your app data wonder draft now if you if you look in your users list and you do not see the app data it's because you do not have your hidden folder showing and the way you can get that on a Windows 10 is to uh, go into your control panel in the appearance and personalization in your file explorer options show hidden files or folders and just turn on show hidden files or folders I also unclick hide extensions for known file types because I like to see the file extensions but that's a personal choice you then click apply and exit out once you've done that you'll see your app data you need to go to your username your app data folder roaming your wonder draft there'll be an assets folder my assets now if you haven't set your wonder draft up according to the instructions you may or may not have a my assets folder but it will walk you through how to create your my assets folder in it you go to your sprites symbols sample symbols and this is where you would put your files that you want to show up in your assets for wonder draft we already have this one I've already put one version of this in here but I changed the roof color so let's replace that one now let's load up wonder draft let's create a new map All right, let's give it a little bit of decoration just to, so we have something to uh, show our symbols on. All right. Now we go down to where our, my assets are located. And here we go. This is the little village that I made drop it down this is the the drawing from the internet that I used to make an asset and then this is the photograph made into an asset and that's your map assets that have been created by various means and then brought into WonderDraft to use is my map icons hope this is a benefit to someone and uh, enjoy
enjoy your wonder drafting.